Today is 17th of May, 2023, and I'm going to conduct your speaking body of mine. Full name is Mr. Rose. Could you please tell me your full name? So my full name is Raja Muhammad Kaas Raza Khan. Uh, and you can call me from my uh, from Kaas. Okay, Mr. Kaas, where are you from? So I'm from uh, Raval Pindi, which is situated in the Punjab province, uh, uh, very close to the northern border of the country. And it is the twin city of Islamabad, the capital. All right, that is fine. Uh, so there are four parts. The first one is introduction. The second one is presentation. The third one is essay. And the fourth one is lecture. So I'll begin the first one. Uh, right, can you please show me your ID? Can you please show me your room? Sure, sir. Okay, that is fine. Thank you. Thank you. Right. All right. So uh, why do you want to go to the UK? Uh, so going to the UK, like there are some traditional reasons, for example, the high quality education, the diversity and the global integration of the degree. But uh, my part of the, like I've already completed my LLB honors from BPT, BPT University International Program. And since the uh, common law system of UK and the normal legal system of Pakistan have a lot of, like, the legal system of Pakistan basically suits back to the common law system of the UK. So for further study and to get high, uh, high quality education, I wanted to go to UK to pursue my LLM and to get uh, specified, uh, specialized knowledge on uh, the international business world. Okay, that is fine. Uh, what are your hobbies? What do you do in your free time? So in my free time, I like to play video games, and the other hobby that I have is uh, reading, reading personal development books, uh, mostly. All right. And what do you do for a living now? So I'm working as a junior partner at a law chamber in Raval Pindi Park. Okay, what's your future plans? So in future, I would like to move to the UK and after completing my LLM in international business law, I'd like to pursue another LLM, which is called LLM in legal practice, which will prepare me for the scholarship qualification exams in UK and uh, like, which is the, the traditional route for lawyers nowadays, for solicitors nowadays in UK. Okay, that is fine. Thank you. Now we shall move to the second part, which is non presentation. Your presentation should uh, be up to three minutes, not more than five minutes, not less than uh, three minutes. You can start your presentation by saying that I will begin my presentation and you can end uh, your presentation by saying this is the end of my presentation. So you can start your presentation now. So, so I will begin the presentation now. The, the topic that I've been assigned is a free public transport. And the topic of our, uh, and, uh, the idea of free public transport is like something that I personally agree with. Uh, like there are some factors which like contribute to like uh, me supporting the idea. And the first one uh, is the increased accessibility. So like public transport tends to be very, very cheap. And people of all classes can like join it and uh, like easily make their convenience and reduce their daily charges and expenses related to transport. The second thing is the reduced traffic congestion. Like this is a major problem, in especially big cities. There is a lot of uh, a lot of traffic, and it also like uh, so it also creates a delay for people that are in emergency because they are unable to reach their destination on time. The third is environmental benefits. Like some of the public transport we see often in big cities are uh, like designed to for less emissions and to be more environmental friendly, which is something that we do not see in regular uh, combustion engines. Right, uh, and the other is uh, so for countries that import fuel, for example, like Pakistan, uh, which uh, like for Pakistan, the fuel imports form a major part of its imports. Like, I think they are like $3 billion right now. So if we uh, promote public transport, so we can uh, reduce that number a lot. Like uh, as per the studies, we can reduce that number to like from there to two billion, which is a lot of money. So in conclusion, the people of the 21st century, like uh, if we can conclude that 
public transport remains an important part of your life. Uh, if you make it like, sir, if it, if you improve the quality of the transport and you make it more con uh, conducive, it can have a tremendous magnitude and will also prove to be an alternate to the regular and daily transport rules. Uh, although it does require a big uh, investment at, at, at start, but it can be recovered from like the magnitude and how daily people travel on it. And if the quality is improved, we can easily like make it a sustainable and long term project in the country. And we can also, it can also like some of the uh, public transport uh, means, for example, the metro and uh, the train station, it also uh, improve the infrastructure of the country, which is another benefit. So eventually it can be a great choice for the country, especially like to countries like Pakistan, which are having currently going through balance of payment prices and all that because uh, of the liquidity of dollars in the country. Uh, so this can prove to be a cheap alternative, particularly for the people who are already suffering from high inflation and common prices. So thank you very much for your attention. And I would like to conclude. Okay, that is fine. Now we shall move to the third part, which is the essay you have submitted in your LWR. So my first question regarding that, uh, as I know that you haven't attempted your LWR, so I'll ask you a general question. The content which you have written in your essay, from where did you pick them up? So most of the content, since I've already told you that I'm a reader, and there are small bits and fragments that I've collected from all my reading experience so far. And then I've also worked as a content writer during my uh, educational years. I've researched and uh, some of these things have, part, uh, have become part of my research. Okay, so if you uh, okay, if you had more time, would you add something more? Sorry, if you had you... more time, so will you write something more apart from the uh, apart from the content which you have done? Definitely, sir. Time is a uh, like uh, when you have limited time, you also tend to have limited thinking ability. Uh, this is what I think. So you can't like. So you can take and explain the broader picture of the thing, uh, particularly when you have a word limit and you have a time. All right, that is fine. Um, that's great. Uh, now we shall move to the last part, which is non-picture. Uh, so let me show you the picture. You have 15 seconds to look at this. Yes, you can start. So the picture that I have uh, that I've, uh, that I've had on my screen was, uh, I think it was from a sporting event because if you look at it, it was uh, inside, in a, uh, inside of an arena. There were bicycle parts on the back, and the two girls who were taking a picture uh, with, uh, with, I think it is, when they like, uh, like they're showing it as if it was. They received it from as part of the becoming uh, like participating in the event, and they're also getting medals as if uh, they were uh, actually concerned that they were the participants of this particular event uh, where they are like they're taking the picture. And uh, so I don't really know what and what more should I talk All right, about. my first question from you: Should we celebrate our winning in front of our uh, opponents? Uh, this is uh, this is I think that is something that depends on and that varies uh, from person to person. So some people would like uh, like uh, for some people it will be a natural reaction, and for others like it would be showing off. So it really depends on the intention of the person. It's like it's their natural instinct and natural reaction, and of course everyone likes winning, and uh, celebration comes as, as a part of it. So I think that's fine. And if like you are doing it particularly uh, for your uh, competitors and all that, I think that's necessary. Okay, uh, that is fine. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, you will get your reason within 48 hours. Thank you. 
You have 15 seconds to look at this. Yes, you can start. So the picture that I have, uh, that I've uh, that I, I've had on my screen was, uh, I think it was from a sporting event because if I look at it, it was uh, inside, in, uh, inside of an arena. There were bicycles parked on the back, and the two girls who were taking a picture, uh, with, uh, with I think it is, when they like, like they're showing it as if it was. They received it from as part of the becoming uh, like participating in the event, and they're also getting medals as if uh, they were uh, this actually confirmed that they were the participants of this particular event. Uh, that they are like 